Uh, privacy, uh, dismiss. Uh, hello, Patrick Kelly, uh, customer success uh, black belt. Uh, in regards to teams and voice and video and meetings and analog and if you hear a squeaky toy that's bernard in the corner hey buddy i'm on a meeting uh anyway i wanted to spend some minutes a uh, few minutes talking about the cisco integration points when, when coming with teams and when um <clears throat> and working with the modalities that you can um integrate with uh, the cisco platform so Let's kind of talk through a few of those. Uh, we're going to the, the informal agenda as it is, um, is, is talking about the Cisco uh, integration point with regards to Bernard. Hey, buddy, calm down, bud. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it, voice, uh, video, and meetings, right? So those are the three big ones. And, and how is that accomplished? If you saw at Ignite, that Cisco and Microsoft have entered into a, um, an agreement of sorts uh, for that integration platform for a few of those. So I want to whiteboard those uh, with you. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And then if you need uh, slide decks and uh, um, <clears throat> further demos, we can get into that. Uh, know that most of the stuff I'm talking about will be GA uh, coming January. So next month, I guess it's already December. Um, a lot of these modalities aren't out yet, they're in preview. Um, so this stuff uh, is, is obviously announced at Ignite, but it's not completely out yet. We'll be Q1 January uh, 2020. So let's turn on, uh, by the way, I'm on an MTR right now, a Microsoft Teams room is the acronym for that. And we'll talk about how that's going to integrate with WebEx rooms and Zoom rooms. But first, let's kind of dive into direct routing and the big announcement at Ignite. I'm gonna turn on my content camera so we can draw this out um, as well. So my content camera is pointed at my screen. Hopefully you can see that content. The AI is drawing that uh, screen now and perfect. So when it comes to uh, just dial tone, right? We'll go from simplest to uh, complex. So in the regards to dial tone, uh, a couple of uh, ways to do it, right? So in the Teams world, Right, your Teams client and Teams um, application sits in Office 365. Office 365 has two different ways to connect to dial tone. First, and by far the easiest, is what we call uh, the phone system. Right, the phone system is the ability to have dial tone onto your Teams client. The next big thing you're going to have is where does that dial tone come from? That's where you kind of get into the fork in the road. The easiest way to do that is what we call calling plans. And calling plans is the ability for your Office 365 tenant to have uh, minutes on a per user per month basis. Basically, Microsoft's your PBX, it provides that dial tone. And um, that dial tone comes from your Office 365 tenant, administration, uh, operation, all happens at the tenant level. That's, again, that's the easiest for a greenfield environment or for environments where um, you want the most simplistic form of a dial tone. But the, here's where the Cisco part comes in, right? The Cisco part comes in where a couple of different ways, right? So in the Cisco world, you have CUCM or call manager, right? And this is your on-prem PBX, all right? And that on-prem PBX goes to the PSTN world. Much like calling plans goes to the PSTN world. Cisco trunks to a call at the PSTN world. The middle part is how do we get this phone system in Teams to go into Cisco, to dial into Cisco, or to use Cisco as its uh, dial tone? Well, here's what we do. We do what we call direct routing. Direct routing. Basically, right, that is the ability for a, an appliance uh, in, the, in the term of, uh, of the phone system or in the term of telephony. This is what they call an SPC, session border controller is another word for direct routing. Basically, it's a session border controller that's certified to work with Teams. So when your Teams client, right, picks up their phone, on the, opens their handset, 
that dial tone goes through phone system, goes through direct routing, goes through call manager, goes through the PSTN, and comes from here, right? This direct routing thing is now at the uh, at Ignite is going to be a Cisco cube. There's obviously multiple vendors that make this device, but in the world of Cisco, the Cisco cube is now going to be a certified direct routing SBC. Okay, so I would ask for if there are any questions, but Bernard doesn't talk and this is being recorded, so he probably can't ask. All right, that's clear enough. Let's talk about the next level of integration, right? Buddy. Okay, the next level of integration is what we call CBI. And CBI stands for Cloud Video Interrupt. What does that mean? It means in the Cisco world, we'll keep it Cisco, right? We have video telepresence or VTC or video teleconferencing. Uh, or any of these uh, video telepresence rooms that might have uh, equipment, obviously like uh, Cisco equipment, like the SX80s or DX80s. It might have Tamburg equipment, it might have Poly equipment. All of this equipment is running this codec, right? H23, H323, and SIP. In this world, and again, this is on-prem stuff, right? This is stuff that's currently in your conference room. Okay. In the Teams world, guess what? We don't speak SIP or H323. We speak a whole other protocol. I'm not sure how deep you want to get into it, but we'll just write it down. We'll keep it easy. We speak that protocol, right? So what we want to do is to mesh these two protocols together. And we do that with CVI. CVI, Cloud Video Interrupt, is a cloud solution that sits obviously in the cloud and basically has two sides to it, right? So to simplify it, we have a side right here and we have a side right there. What happens is that basically this is a translator. It translates the language of H323 and SIP to uh, the Teams world. So when you start a meeting, right, you have the ability to start a meeting from any laptop or conference room, right? We'll just draw a laptop, right? We're gonna have a person doing a teleconferencing here, talking to a person in the room. We'll make them smile, right? They're in that Cisco room, right? And one guy might have a um, red shirt, another guy might have a blue shirt. That's why I have a little differentiate this. All right. So in the Teams world, we fire up a Teams meeting. Again, on a laptop or desktop or whatever it is, right? We're going to have these same people talking. This guy's red. This guy's blue. And that way, you can differentiate the two. These guys have got to be smiling too. Okay. So this is a video conference between these two. This person, whoever uh, is on-prem, is going to talk to this side of the cloud video interop. The cloud video interop is going to translate that, land, link that language into a Teams world, and vice versa. This guy is going to talk to this side of the CVI, and this side of the CVI is going to talk to this person. So that way, a Teams meeting can see and hear stuff from an on-prem Cisco uh, equipment, all through cloud video and around, and the vice versa. These people in this uh, room can obviously join this Teams meeting, and in here you're going to see obviously a video panel. You know, when you have more than three or four people joining a meeting, you have those individual panels in your laptop or desktop. One of those panels will be this, you know, the Cisco equipment. But as a Teams user, I actually won't know. I just see that the audit, hear the audio and see the video. It's just another person in my meeting. I don't care if they're actually using Teams certified equipment or on-prem Cisco equipment or Poly equipment or Tamper equipment. 
I don't care, right? Because this language is being translated with CBI, uh, and that's how you get uh, the Cisco world. So in the past, um, Hexip was a premier factor in this. Blue Jeans was another player. And then finally, Polly was the third player. At Ignite, we announced a fourth player. But you can't guess who that fourth player is. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right, it's Cisco. Okay, so Cisco is now going to be one of the premier providers of the CBI experience, right? So just another way that Microsoft and Cisco are working together to get this uh, solution a little bit easier to integrate and deploy. And now I have to find my eraser. Oh, there it is. All right. So uh, again, I would ask any questions, but uh, I see no hands. Obviously, if you need to dive deeper into this, these are 30,000 foot really quick views of how this works. Uh, I'd be happy to launch into a much deeper dive should you need that um, into any of these modalities. All right, so let's talk about uh, the last one, right? Okay, so in the Cisco world, uh, we have, again, Cisco on-prem over here. We have WebEx rooms. Okay. Obviously, those are some sort of compute device uh, hooked up to audio, video, uh, and microphone uh, that obviously allow you to consume and uh, broadcast meet, uh, data in a meeting. In the Microsoft world, in the Teams world, we have MTRs, right? Um, an MTR is a Microsoft Teams room. Kind of the same thing, right? As a as like as a um, as a partner ecosystem, right? We uh, trust and, and enable our partners to invent and create all these solutions, uh, no matter. Um, however they want, not no matter. So we provide the UI, and we provide the OS uh, and the interface, but we leave it up to Poly, we leave it up to Jabra and Logitech and uh, HP and Lenovo to come up well, however they think uh, this solution should work. And that's a great thing about innovation, right? All these partners come up with different ways to do this for different size uh, rooms and different solutions. Uh, and that allows us to be very flexible and modular when it comes to this approach. Um, what's going to happen is this, right? So the MTR is, again, a, uh, a Windows 10 uh, Enterprise OS on top of the uh, a Surface, our Surface Go. And what it's going to do is it's going to look kind of like, obviously, I'm not going to draw an MTR, right? But um, that's a horrible square. But it's going to have what we have uh, when you open it up. I'm not going to obviously, there's many demos uh, that you can look at to sh show you the UI experience. But what's going to do is on the left rail of it, it's going to have all the meetings of the day. Right. And today, those are all going to be either Teams meetings or Skype meetings. Right. And there's a little icon to correspond to that individual meeting. Right. In the future, i.e., January or, H or Q1 you're going to have additional features, right? You're going to have a WebEx meeting or you can have a Zoom meeting, okay? Same thing on the other side. You're going to have your WebEx room on your left rail. You're going to have your WebEx meetings. But in the future, you're going to have Teams meetings, right? And what this allows you to do as an end user, right? The hardest part of any conference room solution is to walk into the room and just get it to work, right? Uh, in the past, that usually takes, Gartner said, it takes eight to 12 minutes to actually start a meeting because people are trying to hook up their laptops, they're trying to plug in cables and turn on audio. That's the experience we don't want. That's the experience that will kill productivity and innovation and collaboration. We want you to walk in, see there's a Teams meeting, hit one touch join, and everything just lights up, right? And that's the experience we want. Today, that works with Teams and Skype meetings, but tomorrow, in quotes, we want that to work with WebEx meetings. And how that works is this. You're going to walk into a, a Teams room with a Microsoft Teams room system, and you're going to see that WebEx meeting. Same thing in the Cisco world. You're going to walk into a WebEx room and see a Teams meeting. You no longer care if it's a Teams or a WebEx meeting. You're just going to touch one touch join, and it's going to launch into that meeting. 
here's how it's going to work, right? Underneath the hood, as I said, this is a, uh, a Windows 10 device, right? So with a Windows 10 device, it actually has, with a Windows 10 OS, it actually has um, a browser on that. As you probably know, Microsoft is going to a Chromium-based browser, Chromium made by Google, creates this thing called a WebRTC, open source, um, well, RTC standing for real-time communication, i.e. all audio and video and collaboration. What it's going to do is both sides, right? It's going to, when you launch it, it's going to open up that browser. And in that browser, when you type in a WebEx meeting or hit join to a WebEx meeting, you're going to have a browser here that opens up the web interface of this corresponding WebEx meeting. So it's going to be a browser skin on it. It's going to join that WebEx room like it's a WebEx uh, machine and vice versa, right? So when you join a Teams meeting, it's going to have a Teams browser experience. When you click Teams, uh, one touch join, it's going to open up that Teams browser and join in to the same Teams meeting. Same experience, both sides, right? So a user doesn't have to know any sort of conference code or any sort of uh, uh, ID or PIN number, they literally just hit one touch join and then launches into that Teams browser, one touch join from this side, launches into that WebEx browser. So we've agreed a partnership on this. Uh, again, same thing with Cisco and Zoom and Teams. We, we will do it all three to have the same performance and the same UI experience. So I'll keep it short, but I wanted to at least go over those three fundamental things that we talked about, right? So if you, uh, if you want to do a quick review, three big announcements, right? Direct routing for voice will now be a Cisco queue, or can be a Cisco queue, okay? CVI, Cloud Video Interop, can now be Cisco Cloud. And finally, MTR, WebEx Rooms, is now going to be a um, WebRTC. So all the vendors now work together very seamlessly. When I say all the vendors, <laughs> I guess I'm talking about uh, Cisco and Microsoft in this regard. Uh, anyway, hope that was helpful. Uh, if you need to dive in deeper, please reach out to your local CSM or your Teams TS, or you can reach out to me directly. Um, again, enjoy your day. Talk to you later.